Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. This is your host, River Foxen, and we're going to talk to Isambard here again, see what uh, other chores he has for us to do. All right, he's going to give us probably some pants that aren't any good for us, so we're just going to take money when that happens. Isambard is concerned about the question surrounding Sister Orson's integrity. Sister Orson, it cannot be. Though she is wont to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own, and it is not uncommon to see her speaking to the children. But, no, it could not be she, could it? Hmm. Yeah. I grow weary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular that she is fond of. Pray, seek out the boy, River, and see if you cannot glean something from him about Orson's activities. Alright, somebody's crafting over here and making a noise. Alright, let's see here. Speak with the uncombed urchin in the Golden Bazaar. So where... Alright. Golden Bazaar is... Is that where we were? Oh no, it's somewhere else. Okay, I see now. This is the church. I gotta go this way. Alright. This is again where I wish I had some uh, means of faster travel. Since I've never been there before, I guess that I can't uh, use a chocobo. Chocobo keep. All right, now we can come back here. There we go. Uncombed urchin. A bunch of these little little kids here. Please help. Sister Orson went out all on her own and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right here about Thal and the Order and the other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing and she went looking for it. But what if the monsters outside hurt her? Please find her. Alright, so... She's in trouble. Not level synced, that, so that means it's going to be really easy. from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. 
It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. You spoke with the child? Yes, well, I was able to find his lost trinket. It is a ring given to him by his mother before she passed. I will see it safely back to him. Alright, so... She doesn't seem suspicious anymore. So we'll go report back to Isambard. way. No. I guess I can't. I guess I'm going to have to walk. Did I not go to the Chocobo Keep in town? I must have not uh, visited the Chocobo Keep in Camp Drybone. Oh, well. It's a good evening for a walk. isn't too bad because again we're kind of over leveled for the area so nothing is um, attacking us Sister Orson was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar? Gods for Fend. I will secure a room at the inn for her should she require any rest. Searching for the mementos of orphans? And risking her own well-being in the doing, no less? Certainly not the dastardly deeds Thancred would have us believe. Alright, yep, yeah, I kind of agree. Gained a level. And once again, equipment that isn't very good for us. Alright, Amalja wrong places. Looking for Amalja wrong places. I don't know. Alright, Isambard seems to have a message for you from Thancred. I am well glad I reserved that in room for Sister Orson. It seems she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she is expected to make a full recovery. But now, on to the matter at hand. Thancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Amalja encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding these disappearances. Alright. To the southeast. I'm never sure how to leave this place. Can I go this way? That seems to go deeper into the place. I think we're going up the south entrance, which is this way. Also, I need to see about speaking to a chocobo keep. I guess it's up there somewhere. Or is it? No. Chocobo Keep is definitely somewhere in town. We'll check it out when we go back.
Hmm. These must have been pulled off by somebody who was running away from them. And they ran back to their kind of spawn area. It's kind of funny. Well, what do you have for us, Tancred? Ah, there you are, River. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all about good sister Orson. Isambard said her wounds were serious. It would seem my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. But false though they were, perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following Sister Orson near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amalja caught my eye. I tracked them as far as this encampment, but, well, let us say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, dear River. Would you be so kind as to take a look inside? What? You have knives. You have knives. I have a book. But you want me to go and fight because you're afraid. Okay, I will go hit them with a book. Because, actually, they probably won't even aggro me. Hi. Yep, you just walk right in. Don't mind me. I'm just rooting around through your stuff. See, I would have had to fight at least three people if I was lower level. Yeah, just for fun. Well, did anything tickle your fancy? This leaflet. See the wealth of Nald to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. Pray, take this to the inn at Camp Drybone. Let us see what Sister Orson makes of it. Alright, back to town. kind of an interesting looking town because like from far away you can barely s like it's it's in a hole in the wall I mean a hole in the ground literally now I'm wondering I think the chocobo keep the reason I missed it is because it's no I thought it might be inside somewhere I don't know where this chocobo keep is. Is this where Sister Orson is? No. Nope, there she is. What's Thancred have to say? Now, let us see what Sister Orson makes of this leaflet. My savior comes again. To what do I owe the honor this day? What is this? Blasphemous. These are not our teachings at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that, I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the order to deceive the people? All right, so someone is being sneaky. The plot thickens, River. Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his deception. 
There is no doubt an irony in there somewhere. But I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. I shall consider how to best handle this. For now, tell Isambard what we have learned here. Alright. What's going on here? Is he, is he dead? Maybe. Let's see here. Still looking for a chocobo keep. Oh, I bet I know where it is. Because this place is all multiple levels. It makes it a little confusing. That it's up here. Yep, here we go. Alright, that's taken care of. Now we can go talk to Isambard. Posing as a priest? to thank. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, River. I shall keep my ears and eyes open, now more than ever. Alright, once again, take the money. And let's move along. Dressed to deceive. Isambard wants to help you identify and apprehend the false priest. I'm afraid I've not seen any unusual activity, nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and soon more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let River and me serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in a battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs, so long as you don't mind the smell and the stains. These will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, River. So as to lay the foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments Isambard lent us, and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. All right. So we have to wear a weathered shepherd's tunic and a weathered shepherd's slops. All right. So here's that. And then slops our legs. Which don't show because we're wearing boots, but that's fine. Alright. There we go. We look a little less reputable. Still carrying a big old book. Anyway, we gotta talk to like five different people. Neural, flame captain. Mm-hmm. And you are? Another refugee by the looks of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for your like. Be gone, and see to it you don't make a nuisance of yourself. I have a feeling people aren't going to be very nice to us. Swain Hilt. I preach the teachings of Azima, the warden. Hast thou come to partake of the honey of her wisdom? 
Azima is the keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for naught till the end of days. All right, is that a suspicious guy, or is he actually proper preacher? I'm not sure. But the uh, fake preachers were preaching of Naldthal, so he must be a normal one. Let's see what Adelstan has to say. <sighs> and I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. Guard. Ermagard. Greetings, good madam. Is there aught I might assist you with? Oh, I, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Mayhap you should rejoin your fellows out at the pond north of Sandgate. Okay, that's new. There's a pond where people are hanging out. Alright, I think the last one is upstairs. Are you really happy with what you're making me do, Thancred? I want you to don the old garments Isambart lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. In case you misplace the tunic and the slops, you'll need to ask Isambard for another set. Well, I'm wearing them, so I'm okay. I think this guy is also doing the quest because he's also wearing the tunic. What is it? God, not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whomsoever you like. Why don't you keep with your own kind out by that muddy pond of yours at Drybone? All right, there's another person talking about the uh, Drybone pond. Anyway, let's see what Thancred has to say now. You have quite a knack for being a nuisance, River. The camp is abuzz with the talk of newly arrived vagrants. And though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have a commune by the pond north of Sandgate, to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities do not reach that place, rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let us go there and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. Isn't that wonderful? guys too. I don't want to be in the fate. A fine morning for catching false priests, wouldn't you say? You look absolutely smashing, River. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left then is to wait for our quarry to appear. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. This is no way for men to live. No way at all. Who are you? What do you want? Be at ease, child, for I mean you no harm. I am a priest of the Order of Naldthal, and I come to offer you succor. This leaflet bears the teachings of Nald. Trust to them, and they will surely set you free from the shackles of penury. Hmm, 
a tempting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you would have made a god's awful mumber, Ungust. What? H how did you know? You bastards tricked me! But please don't hurt me. I was only doing it to protect my people. Is that so? Do continue. Very well. I'm a man of the Golden Bazaar, raised there if not born. Some moons ago, the Amalja raids began. They would appear sudden as a sandstorm and plunder and pillage at will. Our defenders couldn't stand against them, few as they were. Everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew. And so I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached the Amalja in hopes of brokering a deal. In return for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made demands, outrageous ones. Demands? Of what kind, pray tell? First of all, they wanted the schedule for crystal shipments from the Nanawa mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me the information. Next, they wanted me to bring them people. So I posed as a priest to lure in the vulnerable and give them over to the Amalja. I, I didn't have a choice. Protecting one's home is a noble thing, but at the cost of innocence? You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I suspect you are not telling me the full story. What made you sell out your own people? Speak. Uh, that was good. What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell mole meat for a score of lifetimes and not even see a fraction of what the Amalja pay me. You sacrificed innocence so that you could line your own pockets? Words fail to express the contempt I feel for you. Spare me your contempt. If you want to blame someone for the mess the world's in, then blame yourselves. You're the gods. Ah, not you again. Were you the one leaking the Immortal Flames patrol routes to the enemy as well? Spit it out. No, I know nothing about that. I swear it. At this stage, I'm rather disinclined to believe aught that leaves your mouth. But no matter. There'll be time enough to learn the truth. Huh... River, be a dear and take word of these developments to Minfilia, would you? I shall prize everything I can out of this filth. The abductees are still somewhere out there. Our foremost priority is to rescue them. Alright, we want to speak to Minfilia. But first I'm going to change into my nicer clothes. And then, let's see here, we can uh, teleport. Can we teleport directly there? Oh wait, no, I can't. Well, actually, we can, we can use the item. Welcome back, River. I am pleased that you and Thancred have been getting along. I see. You have done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. As Thancred said, we must ascertain where the abducted were taken, and none but the Amalja know the answer. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all is said and done. Alright. And so that is the end of that quest. So anyway, that's uh, going to be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, 
be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.